Hello guys, this is Madman1166 again, bringing you another GTA 5 video. This time, you know, I figured I'd show you guys a couple of glitches. Um, I was playing the other day, and uh, surprisingly, I found an entire lobby that didn't know one of the glitches. I was rather surprised to find out that they didn't know about it. <laughs> Let me just get on with this with this video real quick. Where is it? I I gotta find it. It's the jewel. This it's the jewelry store one. But um, I was thoroughly surprised that some people didn't know about it. Let's see who all is in here. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I gotta turn this up a little bit too. Gotta turn it up a little bit so you can actually hear stuff too, so. Um, I am in the process of trying to save up the money to get an HD PVR2. Um, I've been told a lot of good stuff about it, so I mean, it's like 140 bucks. Trying to save up the money to get it, and then I will get it eventually, so just bear with me and be patient. It will happen. Crap. I was by one of the barber shops. Ah, there it is. Right down this aisle way. This is just one of the glitches that I know that I'm going to be showing in this video. There's another one, and it's the bridge out towards like the ghetto type neighborhood. All you do, you can either climb up here or you can climb up here. If you climb up here, you're going to just fall straight through. But what you do is you go to right to this corner, you hit X, and as soon as you get up here, you hit X again. And you'll climb up onto like an invisible ledge. And then you're going to aim for like right there. Now, sometimes you'll hit an invisible wall like, you know, like I just did. Dang it. I usually don't have this much difficulty with this glitch. And for some reason, it brought me way out here. Now, I have noticed uh, an excess amount of, like, people of, like, griefers and stuff. People that are, like, just, like, griefing you. Let's see if I can just amp right there. There we go. And see, you can get right here. Um, sometimes it does this to you to where, like, you can't really get past this. Sometimes it'll do that. Um... I've noticed it's only if your guy lands too far over this way. But usually you can... Oh, let's see if I can get over there now. Usually you can walk all the way over there. Um, oh, yeah, I turned my gun invisible too. Um, like, you can shoot out. Like, you can shoot right here. Um, usually, like... When you're over there, you can shoot out through here and everything else, so... Let me see if I can get through there properly instead of having a glitch on. I don't have a parachute, unfortunately. And... Well. Oh well. I can still show you the glitch, it doesn't matter. I've also noticed that Rockstar has started spawning you further away from where you originally were. I I don't know why. Personally, I prefer it. I would prefer it if they were to start if they were to do the spawning like they originally did. Did that guy really just run away and go into passive? He did. He, he ran away and went into passive mode. I was afraid I was gonna get him back. Ah, there we go, finally. See? 
if you can get all the way over here, I'm gonna use this gun, my bolt up, because like the other one sucks. But it stops you from going further up this way. You can take cover right here. Um, so if like you take cover, the cops can't get to you. Um, instead of ju jumping this way, if you run and jump that way, you'll be inside of the barbershop, but you'll technically be invisible. Um, that one I don't, re I don't recommend because they can still like shoot you. Uh, and like right here, as you can tell, like, yeah, there's a barrier. But there's only like a select few spots that you can't shoot out. Like, you know, I can shoot out there, I can shoot out over here. And it's the best thing, this is one of the best ones to go to if you have a bounty. Like if you want to get rid of the bounty and you want to get rid of it quick. And like, if you have a parachute right here, you can actually um, parachute and travel underneath the map if you want to get away really quick. Let me uh, go ahead and take you to the second one that I was going to show in this video. And once again, you know, you will have to pardon the quality. Um, it's, you know, um, I'm not the rich, I'm not like, you know, I'm not the rich person where I'm actually really freaking broke. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't really usually, you know, I don't really do this, you know, because I want to make money or thing like that. You know, I'm not like a lot of other people on YouTube. Because I've noticed a lot of people are, are like, oh yeah, you know, s spend money on this, you know, so I can, oh, because I want this. Or they'll be on Twitch and all they are going for is people to donate money, money towards them. Um, I will be doing Twitch when I when I am able to get the HD PVR2. Um, I will be streaming on Twitch. It's underneath, you know, same gamer tag, Madman1166. The only thing that's capitalized is the M. Um, I've noticed like a lot of I've noticed you don't really have to capitalize anything, it'll still show it up. As long as you search under channels and not people. And one of the things I think is cool that they've added in is you can now have three you can have three fucking garages and shit. Okay, now over here is the second one. You'll see like right after this little that little barrier right here, you'll see this little uh the screen dumpster. You wanna take your car and you wanna slam that up against the wall. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to get up on top of this. Like right about here next to the S. And then you're gonna climb up again, and it is gonna put you underneath the bridge. Now, you can shoot out all over up here. Like, it doesn't matter where you aim, you can shoot out. Um, unfortunately, you cannot go into this because you will drop through the map, um, and it'll put you out of the glitch. But this is another good one if you have a bounty, or um, if you wanna get the, day, uh, the daily objective, like say you have the daily objective where you have to get, you have to get rid of you have to escape a five-star wanted level. This is a really good place to do it because you can sh literally shoot like everything out of here. Um, so yeah. And like usually when you're down here, people don't really go toward go towards you because they know uh, this guy's in a glitch. Most people know this one, um, but like I said the other day, I was playing and almost, like, pretty much the whole lobby did not know those two glitches. So I just figured, you know, I show this to everybody, you know, for everyone's sake, you know, so you can see what's going on. Um, I also like the new outfits I've got on. Like, this is the, uh, the masked one, the tactical. Um, let me get out of here. Um, oh. Oh, there we go. I guess you can walk on that a little bit. <laughs> And I'll probably end up on top of the bridge. See? Yeah, I'll, uh, well, I'm not on top of the little bridge. Um, one thing I've noticed is, like, uh, with the heist, like, I haven't played, like, that one video that I did was the first time I'd played this in almost a year. Oh. And with the heist, you know, the heist came out a, lo you know, a while back. But I've realized that unless it's, like, the one that gives you double RP and double money, no nobody will really is really gonna join it. Um, I kind of think it's messed up because you're still getting like heck of money. Because um, I mean, most people they put it on to where everybody gets an equal share. Um, but yeah, that's you know that's that's what you know. There's oh, and I guess I can show you this one real quick. And I know every everybody knows this one. <laughs> I don't think I met a single person that knows this one, but it is still really fun to do. You know. 
and I'm actually surprised it still works. That that glitch has been there since this game literally first came out. And I don't know if this still works, but originally you could like flip your car around. Uh, car doesn't flip fast enough anymore. And it would like teleport you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Before you could do that, and it would, you could flip your car. Like as soon as you jump off, you start flipping your car, and your car would like slowly travel across the map. And you can do it forever. Um, I couldn't get my car to go fast enough to do anything. Um, I do like. I also like some of the some of the vehicles that they brought in. This, this person's probably gonna try to shoot me. Oh, no, no, guess not. Ah, somebody friendly, eh? Yep. It's either run him over for the hell of it. <laughs> and like when I play this game, I don't usually just go through and just kill a whole bunch of people. I'm more out like just to drive around, steal cars, you know, find little 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 small things that I you know that are pretty cool. Um, test test out vehicles, try to find uh, spawn locations for certain vehicles. Like, um, a lot of people keep saying that the, uh, the LCC Hexer is a rare bike. I'm sorry to say this to everybody, but the LCC Hexer is not a rare bike. If you go over into, um, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's out where Lester's, where Lester's house is, where Lester's crack house is. If you go over to where the little, uh, the biker gang's trailer park is, you can find the LCC Hexer, um, Unfortunately, the LCC actually you cannot take into your garage because it is considered too hot. Um, but they also have the um, the really cool little uh, beat up uh, truck. It's not Lester's truck. It's uh, uh, the other one. It's the one with the big snorkel on it. I can't remember the freaking name of it. I know I have it in my garage. Um, you can find that one out there. Um, and usually, like, once you get in it, if you're driving back, you can find, the, like, a bunch of sand, sand kings, just, like, the standard sand kings. Because I've noticed that, like, I've been trying to go down there to get the sand king XL to spawn, because usually it spawns down there on the beach where the jet skis are. Um, I haven't seen it spawn in there lately. I've been checking back regularly. Um, oh, get out of the freaking way. And, you know, and one thing that a lot of people don't, like, put into effect is, well, let me get around this, <clears throat> like, everybody's wanting to do, like, you know, all the little, all the, the huge missions to earn money. Uh, the cars for Simeon, you can actually get a lot of money if you complete the whole list. Um, last time I completed the whole list was literally almost a whole year ago. Um... But, come here. Oh, you bastard jumped out of the way. Come here. But, um, back when I was playing it, when you completed the whole list, it gave you, like, a huge bonus. And just like, uh, the daily objectives. Meow. Speed bumps. Oh, they actually launched my car. Oh, really? Ah, oh, that actually fucked up my car. Which one? Okay, which one of you guys was a fat ass? Okay, which, 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 which one of you fat asses fucking rolled my car? Really? That's the only guy. That's the only one that's fucking dead out of that whole damn thing. What the fuck? Um, where was I? What was I saying? Ah, yeah. Um, but also like the daily the daily objectives. Those are a really good thing to do. Um, I know there was one video. Uh, I can't remember his freaking name. I think it was, um, the For the Wind Eater, uh, uh, Mr. Boss for the Win. Um, I would give him credit because he was the first one I seen that, that did a video on that. And holy hell, what's going on here? Oh, it's the stairs. Um, letting you guys know, like, um, the daily objectives, they can give you a lot of cash, especially if you're on top of it every single day, like, you get on the game every day and you do the daily objectives. You can get, you can fucking make bank just off of that. Come here, come here. Get off that. <clears throat> like you, you can, you can literally make just fucking bank off of that. Um, I you know it's just like some of the small things in here. You know, people don't really give you credit for like robbing the stores. You go through the, through and you rob all twenty stores. 
I mean, you're getting anywhere from 1,000 to possibly 5,000 on, on some of the other stores. Um, and I mean, there's 20 stores. I'm, so you, you, can, you can get quite a bit of money from doing that. Oh, that did not work out well. And one thing, uh, I haven't seen them lately. I think they're still in the game. I don't know. Don't know if one of you guys do. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys do. Um, is the armor trucks? Um, I played this game. I think, uh, yeah, played it last night for I think three or four hours. I didn't see an armor truck pop in. I didn't see the little icon or nothing. Um, so I don't know if they're still in the game. Uh, I believe I believe they are because I can't see the I, you know, I can't see you know Rockstar just taking that out. Because that I mean that was a pretty big thing. I thought it was pretty fucking cool. You know, you see an armor armor truck pops up, you drive up, blow up the back, and hey. Um, I can see that you know Rockstar might have been kind of upset because people found there was like tons and tons of exploits for it. Um, so yeah. And I did want to give a fair warning about one person I ran into yesterday. Um, let me see his name. I left his message message on here. Um, he might have end up be getting getting banned with this guy X I J U U. Um, I I'm, I have nothing against modders. I'll say that right now. I have nothing against modders. Um, this guy thought I did because I let him know that you know, blowing you know sitting there and popping me off on my motorcycle and blowing me up is kind of fucked up. Um, even though he did he did it because uh, he drove up out of me out of nowhere and pulled a gun you know started pulling his gun out which. I'm pretty sure anybody would fuck would have fucking killed him for doing that. Um, but even though I told him that I had nothing against modders, he thought I did, and he's one of the people that will grief you with his mods. Um, and if you end up, you know, letting him know that oh you you know you don't like it or you know you think it's fucked up, he'll do what he did to me last night. Well, attempted to do. Um, he will bump your IP. Which basically means he'll kick you offline. Um, he was attempting to do it to me for three, for uh, trying to kick me off, kick my internet off for three months. Um, one thing I don't think he realizes is that when someone does that, all you got to do is call your internet provider, and they can do what's called an IP cycle. Um, it basically what it does is it cycles out your old IP and gives you a new one. Uh, but you know, I just wanted to give that warning about him real quick, and you know, just. Uh, well, that pretty much about does it for this video, so uh, go ahead and if you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that, hit, just hit that like button, guys. Come on. I think it's awesome to see people liking my videos and watching them. Uh, subscribe, like, and enjoy the video, you guys. Have a wonderful day.